do you have any advice for posing in your kilt to show off the kilt the best and so you look best in your photographs? How do you look good in a photo <clears throat> kilted? Um, depends on the photo. Number one, um, the A, I'll start top to bottom. A, check your tie. Check your top. Make sure that, you know, your your face is in order. If you have a hat on and it's on straight. Um, if you have a tie on, make sure the knot's up top and make sure it's going down straight. Little tiny details like that are really going to matter. That's what, when, you know, Eric was talking about his photo the other day and his tie was a little bit crooked. Little things like that are, if you're as inattentive as we are, they are going to drive you batty. So make sure you're handling little tiny details. If you're at a professional photo shoot, like it's for your wedding or something like that, make your groomsman your or your best man, make him your point man. Make sure he's the one to know exactly what you should look like and make sure he's tweaking the outfit to make you perfect for the photos. If you're wearing a fly plate, make sure it's not pulling the, the left shoulder of your jacket up into the back. You know, pull it down, make sure it's real nice and tight and snug on you. Um, make sure everything is aligned perfectly. As far as the kilt itself, make sure the sporin is centered and make sure your gig line, the center line going down the center of the front apron, make sure that is perfectly in line with your belly button, which is in line with the buttons on your vest or your shirt. Make sure everything is perfectly straight in line. Um, how to make that, how to look best for the photo. Generally, I'd say two things that we tend to use on the website. Number one, turn a little bit. Don't have a straight dead on shot with your arms or at your side. That's going to kind of accentuate the fact if anything is asymmetrical um, and it's going to accentuate the flaws. So turn slightly towards the camera with one foot or the other. Um, yep. The other thing I would say is if you're trying to show off the pleats, uh, put your leg up on something, put your leg on a stool and kind of get the, you know, man on rock, you know, holding his staff, looking out over the highlands kind of look. Um, that'll help, you know, it basically spreads out and opens up the pleats a little bit and helps you know, kind of show off that, oh, there's something neat and different inside the pleats. It gives it a little bit more visual interest. Um, and I'm kind of rabbit holing, but. No, I get you. I yeah. get you. No, I think, I think the angle thing is, is important. Um, hand placement. I mean, with doing our yeah, model shoots. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah. Um, that, that became, you know, you had gotten this down when I came on board, but you taught me like the, the, the hooking the thumb on the sporin trick. Because I think a lot of guys, they don't know what to do with their hands yeah. in the photograph. You know, so. <clears throat> the other thing I'll say is, um, uh, you know, professional models and photography stuff, um, a lot of times they'll, like, you, you want to relax all of your stress and get the tension out. So mm -hmm. when you're, you don't look okay. stiff, in the photo. Okay. So you don't hook your hand behind your spore and, and have your fingers straight pointed down, you know, with your hand rough yeah. and, you know, and very rigid. So literally, it may be as simple as this, is just kind of shake it out. Literally, you just go and kind of, you know, flap your hands around, flap your face around, and... Could you do that again? You just want to... <laughs> you want to relax your muscles by just literally shaking everything out and just hook your hand over top of your belt or over top of your sporin and relax. Yeah. The more rigid you appear, the more uncomfortable the photo will be, much like this video will be when we cut it up and you <laughs> see me doing the blah, blah, noise. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> um, and and I'll say, hey, digital photography, take multiple shots. You know, if, somebody, if you ask somebody to take a picture and they're just a stranger on the street, then they're just gonna be like, okay, here, and they're gonna give you a camera back. But if somebody who's taking a picture for you who's a friend, have them just keep clicking that button and get five or six shots of you just moving slightly, and then you'll have your choice. Yeah. And lighting. Yeah, lighting yeah. is always lighting tricky, is though. always a trick, yeah. but you just have to deal with that. Yeah. Cool. When we cut this, we have to do slow mo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> As you wish. My pleasure. <laughs>